My name's Ray Pickup um, from Raptor Experience and I'm a full-time falconer. My job consists of various different aspects of falconry, whether it be during the summer time I do demonstrations and education and then through the winter it's full on hunting. I just hunt with birds. Falconry is one of the many field sports that I've, I've been into or interested in from a child. I've always grown up around field sports, whether it be dogs, shooting, any sort of hunting. And then I made it full time around about 10 years ago. So this is basically just a transmitter. Um, it transmits a frequency of 433, so if the bird does disappear or I can't see him or locate him, we can use a receiver just to uh, pinpoint him. For the purpose of me lamping, it's got a high-vis ribbon on the back of that. Um, and that's just a peripheral thing because the bird will sometimes fly down the outside of the beam and then nip into the beam where the rabbit is. Tester. That just tells me it's beeping. So all I'm doing now is I'm putting a bit of tape over his bells and that for some reason they always seem to ring louder in the dark and it just gives the rabbits a little less warning. There we go. Good boy. Good lad. Okay, so looking from a different point of view, lamping with Harry Hawks. Now, lamping's always been a popular sport with dogs or, or guns, but lamping with Harry Hawks is becoming quite popular. Now, I've been doing it for quite a lot of years now and it was more a case of how am I going to exercise my bird more than once or twice a week when I'm getting home from work you know in October November and the nights are drawing in it's it's dark at four or five o'clock so we train the bird to fly down the lamp um, it still creates great sport the rabbit as uh, they're still out and the bird still gets rewarded um, it's also a great opportunity just to stay out in the fresh air in the middle of the night. Go on. Um, there, there isn't many excuses now, or the way I can see, there aren't too many excuses why you can't fly your Harris Hawk four, five, six days a week by doing this. Instead of having a bird that's going out just on a Saturday and Sunday, it's not going to be as fit as a bird that's flying four, five, six times a week. So with the nights drawing in, charge your lamp up, go out and do exactly the same thing but just fly your bird from the fist so you're holding onto your bird, lamp your rabbit and the bird will soon figure out what to do there's only a very small amount of training involved to initially teach your bird to to hunt on the lamp but the the rewards are are still as good If falconry ended tomorrow, I'd, I'd be devastated. Um, it's a big passion of mine and it takes up all of my time. Um, whether I'm preparing to go out on a hunting day or getting ready to go and do a two or three day show. Every day, most of the day, I'm in contact with the birds. So all of a sudden I'd end up with a lot of free time on my hands. Um, I would probably end up doing more shooting or to be honest, running dogs or, or any other any other field sport where rabbits are concerned really. I want to keep growing as a business. Um, my ideal would be to do every country show I could do throughout the summer, uh, educate as many people as I could throughout the summer and keep going around to various schools and clubs and do it. Um, 
we, we could grow into maybe a falconry centre, but that's not really a, a passion. Um, it's not something I want to get into. I like travelling. I like doing the, the falconry as a demonstration, but I also like having the winter time off just for my hunting. If you're interested in um, experiencing falconry, even on a small level, we can arrange hunting days, experience days, or even just education and training courses. Um, you can contact me through my website, which is www.raptorexperience.net, or just give us a phone call. It's 0700 349 7241. My name's Ray and uh, I really hope you've enjoyed a brief glimpse into my world of falconry and the great sport of lamping as well. <laughs>